very rare I have a problem with my lovely little i3 but I've got an ABS DSC warning light on which is a little bit of a disaster I'm not so happy about that now trouble is I'm not at work so what I used to have is you probably recognize that it's a Carly dongle uh, I never liked it it can do some things it can do a bit of basic personalization and all that but it can read fault codes but when one guy bought me last car which was a 5 series F10 he came and said oh can I just check for fault codes and plug my little Carly in? I said, I'll plug the Carly in. I've got my own, actually, so don't worry about that. So I plugged it in because there was a million fault codes. And, of course, he was really going to walk out the dealer buying the car. So I said, come with me. Let's go for a road test. Let's go to Vanta. Don't erase out. Put Easter on. I only had Easter then. No fault codes. Trouble with things like this, <clears throat> they tend, they're pretty good, but they tend to put phantom fault codes on that don't make sense and probably don't even exist. So this is just crap don't like it i paid for it but i've never used it in years it's the old version what if i told you there was something available on the market now hear me out here for less than 200 euro in fact i think it's around 150 euro prices vary a bit but let's say 150 euro certainly less than 200 what if i said if I could, you could get something like this in a little box literally a mini scan tool well you can and you might think it's crap because it's just tiny and don't look very good but it ain't crap in fact it's a launch and this launch this particular launch the c reader elite 2 basically launch is saying this will do everything the x431 will do which is a few thousand euro by programming i've, I've had a look i couldn't find any programming but what i can do on this particular device which i've got plugged into my i3 is i can look at not only can i look at fault codes and i'll show you a much better view of this in a minute i can look at fault codes but I can also do a lot of coding. I can change the vehicle order. I can do personalization. But on this particular car, we've got a DSC fault in my car. So let's check it out and let's look at some live data. Let's look at the fault codes. Let's go for a road test and let's basically sort it out. So the old launch, we fire it up. It'll do automatic detect of the VIN, which is very nice and tidy. So as you can see, just like the big scan tools, it'll scan all the systems which is familiar to a lot of you of using the other type of products. So we've got one anti-lock brake system abnormal. And it, oh, it's picked up that the wheel speed sensor voltage on the front right is faulty. And it's a permanent fault. So what we'll do now, parking assistant is obviously faulty too, purely because, look, front axle wheel distance covered is invalid. Well, if the sensor's not working, it will be. So PMA doesn't work. So just like all the big scan tools, there's no difference and it's, the price is unbelievable. So it tells you everything. It tells you it's a Continental brand. That's the supplier. So let's just go into the system. Continue. Let's move my camera again. Again, you can turn that off. You don't have to have it on. So read fault code, data stream, actuation test. Let's look at that. Reset control unit, DSC pump mode. Yeah, okay, no problem. So if you want to have a dodgy um, DSC unit, you can actually actuate the pump and see if it works that way, which is handy sometimes, I guess. But what we want to do is we want to look at data stream. We've got everything there. Pressure sensors, we can look at. Brake pressure, we can look at that now. Let's check it out. So that's working, isn't it? Uh, run flat indicate. There's loads. There's loads and loads of things you can do. Just like ISTA, basically, but a lot more convenient. But what we want is we want wheel speed sensors, don't we? Now, so direction of rotation because they're active sensors. We can check a maximum of eight things there now because that's all that's on. So when you've got the data now, what we need, we can either graph it or we can do it text-wise. So we see right away we've got a problem with wheel speed. We've got zero on that one. And miraculously, it's fixed, but live data has really helped us there, yeah? Without the live data, we wouldn't have a clue, would we? So now we've got uh, good data values, and it was just a bad sensor, so we've changed the sensor now. And what we want to do now, we know that the wheel's working, we want to erase the fault codes, don't we? So we're still in the DSC system here. All we need to do is read the fault codes always first. Voltage supply, intermittent. Now it's intermittent, of course. Let's come out of that. Do you want to display? No. So 
So as you can see now, we've erased all the fault codes. Everything's looking pretty tickety-boo. We've got loads of green ticks, which is always nice, isn't it? So let's have another look through this tool. There's a lot of other things you can actually do on this. A couple of things you can do. I'm in the men main menu now here. There's a, like, it's, a bit, it's an Android device, basically. So you've got really cool stuff. So all my screenshots, what I've done earlier, I can just do that and I can see all my screenshots, which is quite handy, isn't it, in that sense? That's a screenshot that I took from another another thing I was looking at. What else have we got here? DTC library. You can do that and pick your DTCs. Let's say PO410. Because I know PO410. I know that OBD code. Secondary air injection system. So you've actually got like pretty cool stuff. How about PO422? Catalyst efficiency. So you've actually got a library of fantastic things i've not used this resort this resource yet but it looks fantastic you've got feedback user manual got a user manual on there so on the whole it's pretty cool in my opinion about as you can see it's got 11.7 gig nearly 7 gig is available so that's not so bad is it so you've got coding so we can go to mine which is i310 i3 io1 coding and program that will get the vim factory data the current data the target data um but you can back up from there personalization is more kind of i would have say changing things in the vehicle order which if you're not sure what you should be doing you shouldn't really kind of do it as you can see basically don't do it if you don't know what you're doing maximum set that is going to bring up all these individual systems as one kind of unit so we'll do that and you can see what you can modify essentially so JBBE, wiper automatic, homing after store, don't know what that means. Terminate window up when open door, change headlight sensitivity, seatbelt warnings, all the type of stuff that you would get on Carly, you know, or Bimmer code. Automatic luggage actuation. I wish I had that, that'd be nice. So vehicle order change. So if you don't know what you're doing, don't do it. There's the vehicle order and you can mess around with it in that sense. And it shows basically all the different things there, which you can do with other software. So to sum up, do I recommend it? I do recommend it and I'm not getting paid a damn cent to recommend this at all. It's just something I managed to get hold of and I love it. I absolutely love it. Can you run a professional workshop with this? Yeah, you can. Definitely. You might think I'm crazy, but if you're just starting out a new business and you think that perhaps you want to just hang on for a bit and you'll probably just make do with whatever, don't fall into chopper using like these OBD dongles because this is really cheap. And yeah, you can use it professionally. It can be your stepping stone to like a more comprehensive scan tool. But really, what more do you need? It reads fault codes on almost anything, even old stuff. I mean, I've had it on like really old stuff and I've used it on my neighbour's car who's got a really, really old 2004 E46 and it read all the fault codes, no problem for my neighbour. I did him a little favour. And of course, it works on my i3. And what I love about this is it'll do anything. It'll even it'll inflate all the air suspension system on a car. It'll call stuff. It'll register fuel injector uh, quantity compensation codes. It'll register battery changes, what you need to do. You can use it for fault finding. What, what more do you need? So... Check out the link in the description. Get yourself a discount one time only and start doing your own diagnostics. Thanks for watching.